Well, you guys got another video. If you're a Windows 11 user, then watch this video. We all know that Microsoft are making some hardcore changes to Windows 11. When you install Windows 11 now, your hard drive is going to be encrypted with BitLocker. Also, we've got Recall coming. This generate auto unattended dot xml file is going to be very useful so first off select your regional language settings and then set your processor architecture then we can do the setup settings which is bypass windows 11 requirements check for tpm secure boot etc and we can also do allow windows 11 to be installed without internet connection this is going to allow us to use a local account which is what a lot of people want so rather than using, say, Rufus, you could use this method and create your own uh, ISO with this embedded in it. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. So you can make your own custom Windows 11 ISO. So when you're installing, all of this stuff will just be turned off. Next, we can give it a computer name. You can give it a name, say, for instance, PC 101. That's what I'm going to do here. Time zone, I'm going to let Windows determine your time zone based on the language and regional settings, which we set up a little bit earlier on. Next, we got partitioning and formatting. I'm going to leave this partition the disk interactively during the Windows setup or use the existing partitions. You can set yours up how you like. If you want to set this up automated, uh, you can do, but I'm going to let that uh, be a manual setup. Next, we've got the choose how to install Windows RE. Again, install on the recovery partition right here. But again, you can set this up how you like. I'm going to leave these as is. You also can do use a custom disk part script to configure your disks. If you want to do that, that's more advanced. We can do that in other videos. If you want to see that, let me know in the comment section. So we can avoid the drive letter assignments as well if you want to. And we can use a generic product key or we can use our own key if we have one here. And we're going to be setting this up for Windows 11 Pro. Also, we're going to let Windows set up and create the following local accounts. Admin with no password. But if you want a password, you can put that in right here. And there we have the passwords do not expire. And we've got some other settings here which we can use as well. So, so configure it the way you want. And let me know if you want to see a more in-depth video on this so we can create a real cool custom ISO. Now we can also disable Windows Defender here. This is in beta. We've got some other settings here where we can disable the system uh, restore. And we can also enable long paths. And we can enable desktop services, RDP, harden ACLs. We can allow execution of PowerShell scripts files. Uh, this runs the commands like set dash execution policy and so on like that. We can set all that up here. If we check mark this, that's more advanced. Uh, and then we can cover that in other videos. If you want to see those, I can make those videos for you. And we have some other settings here uh, as well, which is pretty useful, like uh, turn off system sounds, do not reboot uh, with users signed in and other things. Now, the one of the important ones is disable widgets. If you don't want widgets on the system, we can disable those, which is your news and stuff like that. And we can check mark that. Another really cool one is prevent device encryption, which is a very new one here. We can check mark this and this will stop uh, the uh, system from encrypting the drives. And if you want to do that, then you can check mark that. So this is why I'm making this video, because we can check mark all of the ones that really concern a lot of people. And this is going to be useful because obviously that means when you install it, it's not going to encrypt the hard drive during the installation process like it's going to be doing in 23H2 and 24H2. We can set up our Wi-Fi setup here. If you want to do that here, you can configure all that here and you can use the configuration Wi-Fi using a XML file here if you have that as well. So that's for other videos. Also, express settings here which we can disable all and that is for the actual data collection like the diagnostic data we can turn all that off and again remove bloatware there is tons of stuff down here which we can remove copilot uh, camera 3d viewer bing search all of that stuff like cortana feedback hub you name it i'm going to check mark all of this but go through this yourself and make sure there is nothing here that you need for instance, if you need Xbox apps, then don't check mark it, leave it unchecked. If you need photos, then don't check mark it, leave it unchecked. And just uncheck the ones uh, that you want to keep 
and leave the ones checked that you don't need. For instance, PowerShell ISE, if you need that, then obviously uh, don't remove it from there. Otherwise, you're going to have issues, okay? But just for this video, I'm going to leave everything checkmarked and we can see what it looks like when it's finished. So we're going to be removing all of this from the computer. So let's move on down to the bottom here and we can make some other changes as well, like scripts. If you want to add scripts or you want to add in registry uh, tweaks and things like that, you can do with this particular method. You can add them in down the bottom. Again, I'm not going to be covering that in this video, but if you do want to see a more in-depth one, then let me know and I'll make that video for you. Okay, so let's run custom scripts. We've got custom scripts here, scripts to run in the system context before the user accounts are created. And you can see here, they've got some examples in here, which is what it should look like. If you want to add those in, you can list them inside these locations here. They've got little drop down boxes here where you can change this from a command prompt to registry files to uh, PowerShell files and things like that. Again, we've got some other areas down here, which is running other custom scripts as well. And you can see scripts to modify the default users registry hive. We can do that here. And then there's also this one right here, which is going to allow scripts to run whenever a user logs on for the first time. And you can put all those inside here if you have those ready. Once you're done, uh, we can move on to the next bit, which is downloading our file with all of our settings on it. So let's go ahead and download this. You can see there's some other settings down here. And what we can do is come all the way down to the very bottom here, and we can download this as an XML file. And what I'm going to do is download that, click on keep, and there is our file right here. Now we need to use something like AnyBurn, and we can download the 64-bit edition here, which is free, and we can then open up our Windows 11 ISO to integrate that file into a Windows 11 ISO. So when we install Windows 11, it's going to remember all of the settings that we set on our uh, unattended file, basically. So let's go ahead and download an ISO here from Microsoft's website. Choose your language and we can download the ISO file and we're going to inject our auto unattended XML file here for our installation. And again, your settings may vary. You may want to put more stuff in and you may want to customize yours differently. But basically, the main uh, thing here is to create a user account, which is a limited account. Also disable uh, BitLocker during the installation process. So we're not in, uh, encrypting our hard drive. And also, if you want un unsupported hardware, you can do that as well. So we've got any burn here. And what we're going to do is edit the image file. And now we need to select our Windows file that we've just downloaded. This is our ISO file. Let's select that right here. That's the one we just downloaded. Click on open. And then once we open this up right here, we can click on next. And now we can uh, add our file. So let's go ahead and click on add. And we can now locate our file that we just created. It should be just down here. There it is, auto unattended and uh, .xml. And we're gonna inject that into our ISO. All we need to do here is now click next. You can see it right there in our root directory part. So we're going to click next here and give this a name. So give it a name, something that you can recognize. For instance, I'm going to call this 23H2 underscore, say custom or something like that. You can call it whatever you like here. It's just for the video. And there we go. That's now done. And we can click create now and it will go off and start to create our ISO. OK, let's boot to the ISO and install it. And I'll quickly show you what it looks like. It's going to skip the first part here because that's how we set it up. We can choose the next button right here and we can click next. And this is set our language up for us. It's already choose uh, Windows 11 Pro because that's what we set it for. And we can now click next. This is the part that you can automate as well, but we're going to leave that as a manual uh, input here. It's going to go ahead and start installing Windows. I'll speed this part up right here, but this is installing in the normal way. And then we restart and you'll get to the part where we have to create a user account. You may see a little black prompt box popping up. That's because we've got some settings that we've done there and it's going to make those changes during the installation process. So don't worry about the black box that's popping up. That's what we've uh, just set up. And it's going to get to just a moment and then it's going to get to our user account and bypass all of that and set it up for what we put in that uh, answer file, that auto unattended answer file there. 
So now we've got our installation all done. You can see it's pretty lightweight. There's no bloat inside here, all been removed. And you can set this up to have all your custom settings as well if you want to. And you can remove just about anything you'd like here during the installation process. But you can see all the bloat has been removed. We don't have nothing inside here. And again, if we go to our a bit locker here, we can check that and you can see it will be turned off. So let me quickly go into our settings here. And you can see the name that is got for the computer is PC101, which is what we set it to. And we've got admin as our user and local account, which is what we set up. Again, we can set some custom settings in here, some registry tweaks if we wanted to, or we can uh, do some other stuff. So let me quickly manage our BitLocker here and show you it is off. It's not encrypted our drive, which is a good thing. And again, we are now installed and up and running very quickly and easily. That's how quick and easy it is. And again, Copilot is not on here. You can see it's been removed because that's what we did. So let's go ahead and check. Uh, we've got search, task view and widgets. Widgets is turned off. Copilot is not there. And again, we can change the icon for the search as well uh, right here if we wanted to. Very simple and easy to set up your Windows via this method. No pushing Shift F10 during the installation process and having to go into the registry or command prompt and run a bunch of commands to do things. This answer file will take care of all of that for you and you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Now again, be careful on some of the stuff you're selecting here because obviously you want to make sure you set it up for the way you like. But again, all your other settings will be set here as well. Location as uh, been turned off here and we've got a bunch of other settings like your diagnostic will be turned off as well so a great way to set up windows 11 if you're one of these people that don't want bitlocker don't want to be forced into a microsoft account and don't want to have your hard drive encrypted during the installation process you can use this method to bypass all of that and have a really super easy and clean windows 11 install and you can customize it and tweak it to the way you like and even add in your own registry tweaks during the Windows installation part. And if you want to see a video like that, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to make that video for you. Anyway, have a lovely rest of your weekend. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server or I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.